open epic game and library and let's create a new new project Okay, so this is a meta human from Bridge, uh, which we wanna replace the head. So to do that, uh, let's go to our file. Yep. Okay, so new face, drag and drop it here. You can import it. So next, uh, we need to uh, on skeleton. We need to choose face archetype skeleton. Uh, expand this one, and we also need to turn on import move targets. And also uncheck physics asset and select physics archetype face archetype physics and also we want to create the, the new material because we we want our diffuse map okay import all right so it's done we don't need to worry about this so let's close this one okay now if you can see this is a new face it is not the meta human shape this is not this, is not this shape this is different shape if you can see it's not only the texture the shape also different let's let's open and see it so let's zoom okay so this one is different this is different from this one which means this is a new mesh and let me check if if there is a blend shape as well okay so next we're gonna replace those textures so to replace the texture let's click on meta human head and face then open this face uh, let's move it side by side so that I can search. So we need to keep that one but replace everything here. So let's search elements one, search and apply it here. Seven. So we only have seven. So now if you can see all the material is already applied and and i want to save this guy and i want to continue changing some stuff here so on animation rig default animation rig so we want to choose face control rig and for skeleton mesh uh, post process anim blueprint you want to use face post process anim, anim blueprint uh, expand this one and add asset user data twice and on the first one use dna asset on second one use asset guideline and save it so next we need the dna from uh, the meta human uh, file to find that go to bridge uh, and find go to the file here 8k uh, source asset meta human that's the name of the meta human here 
that's the data he want you want and then go back again to sustain so the DNA you want is this guy and we're gonna drag and drop the asset DNA file Okay, so drag and drop that here. Then it it will automatically select the skeleton mesh, which is the new face. You remember we name it new face. So it's, it's auto, if not, you have to assign it. So it's automatically select then import. So now it's already the DNA file is already imported. Alright, so let's save and close this one and let's, let's replace uh, MetaHuman face. This is the original MetaHuman and select it, go to the face and look for your uh, new face, which is the scan face, it should be on the, all the way to the bottom, replace it, if you can see it is a new face. Okay, so we will fix the hair later, but this is a new face. And let's go to the blueprint first. Go to blueprint and select the face and also change it here. Change the mesh to the new mesh. Compile. Save. All right, let's drag this one now. If you can see, I haven't activated the new morph here because whenever I export from Maya, I I locked those I locked the blend shape and export it here. Now it appear. So that's the good news. And I don't think I need to do activate the blend shape because it's already here. So the shape, the face is already changed. Now let's fix the hair, right? The next step is fixing the hair. To fix the hair, uh, let's grab this, this guy here and let's, let's put it here. Okay, to fix, because the, the hair, the beard, uh, the eyelash, everything is not attached if you want those. Just let's say click the hair, uh, look for it, right click, create binding. Uh, you wanna put it on the new mesh or the scan face uh, and expand this one. And the source skeletal mesh is the metahuman mesh. Create now the binding is created. Save as let's, let me close this one. The binding is created, so go uh, let me expand this one a little bit and assign it. See now the hair is the hair is fixed. Okay, the next one is eyelash. If you want the eyelash as well, I already have texture on it, but I'm gonna apply the eyelash as well. Search it, uh, right click, right click, create winding to from create. Close this guy and assign it okay so everything is assigned and this is a new face which is a scan face now we have to test whether this is working or not right to do that i have to create uh, add sequence and i'm gonna save it as is 
Uh, let me select, let me start from the mouse. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, side to side. Alright, so that's... That's good. Uh, what is the nose? Probably. That as well, let's check. Yep. The main thing is the eye. Let's check the eye. Let's check both of them. The eye side to side. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, let's what about the let's check the what about the body control rig? Uh, body control rig. I didn't check that one. Okay, let's start from head. Side to side. Where are you? Got it. Yep. That's, that's good. No? Yeah. That's good. And... Hand. Yep. Up and down, up and down, up and down. All right. I'm so happy with the result. And next, I'm gonna test it with um, live link. So let me turn on my live link face. Good. And let me check that guy. Okay, the iPhone is already selected. No. That one selected and next. Mm, okay, let's go and simulate. Play. All right, already. So that's working. Uh, I can see there is a little bit shaky in the eye part. Rather than sad, I'm so happy with the result. Alright, uh, my room is a little bit dark, uh, that's why a little bit shakiness. So I am so happy with the result and uh, I can see there is a little bit darkness uh, up, up uh, on top of the eyelid that need to be fixed in wrap process, I will show you in the future. Uh, rather than that, I'm so happy with the result and uh, uh, I think you uh, like my tutorial. Uh, if you have any comment or suggestion, please let me know in the comment section. Um, uh, also, uh, for those who commented on the first video, uh, thanks for your comment and suggestion. Finally, I kindly ask you to subscribe my channel uh, and uh, thanks for watching, uh, have a good time, bye.